we're going to have a quick look at the Steel FS240 uh, 2.3 horsepower, which I think is 1.7 kilowatt, 37cc engine. It's the top of the line lift handle out of the Steel range. It's so far is my favourite whip snipper I've ever had. The power is there when you need it, and you can also feather the throttle fairly easily. It's not the best at feathering the throttle, but it's not terrible at all. It has the stop start feature of all steel equipment now, the automatic turn off choke, like all steel equipment now. There's not much to say about it. All steel equipment is fairly similar. But this has got the power to get through the normal jobs. I use it on manicured lawns and I use it on the heavy overgrown lawns. This one has already been started this morning. It's fairly warm. I only started not long ago actually. So I won't need to choke the rest of it. Just pull it up. Oh. It's relatively easy to start. In a previous video I did mention that it was hard to start. Most bigger ones are a pain in the ass to start. This is really easy. But it's not that actually hard to start, as long as you've got the air filter clean and the spark plugs clean, which I clean once a year, maybe twice if I'm lucky. Now just like a couple of the other videos, what I'll do is I'll show you how you can gently touch the throttle, unlike the 4mix versions. If anyone has seen them before, I don't like the 4mix quicker snippers. much to say about it being the top of the line in a loop handle it is what it is it's powerful could do a little bit more power sometimes but most times it doesn't need much more power it's got all the features that the steel equipment have so there's really not too much to say about it but if you have the power go way past the 131 as you know 131 doesn't have as much power as people like to say and go straight to the FS240 the only downside to it it is pretty heavy uh, 6.6 kilograms but the trick is to eat some steak and lift some weights my wife uses one all day every day <laughs> is heavier. So true to still form, they do run the best power to weight ratio. There's really not much to say about this one, as it's heavy, the power is there, I use it on five acre jobs, I use it on tiny little small postage size lawns. One thing I've noticed with a more powerful whipper snipper, you go through so much less cord. When you've got the 131, you end up having to take two swipes to where is this one and just walk along. It might not make sense to a lot of this, but others will understand that the more PA you have, the less whipper snipper cord you go through, and it's dramatic. I use probably half as much as I do if I was to run the 131 or the 94s. We had two of these. The first one we bought, we had a FS250 and an FS131R. And the FS131R wasn't keeping up to the 250. So we went out and bought uh, FS240R to replace 131. I walked in the shop to get it, and they only had one in stock, but it didn't have a carburetor. So I had to wait overnight, went back the next day, and picked it up. So that was fine. 
No problems, I think three months later, not even that, the accelerator is stuffed up. Took it back to the shop, and due to the virus, it took us three months to get it back, and we were stuck with the 131, which slowed us right down. We got it back, and then a couple of months later, again, the carby went down. Took it back to the shop, they replaced the carby. That's only happened on one of them. We've got two of these now, and this one, so far, touch wood, hasn't had a problem with the carby router, but the other one has. So hopefully they fixed the issue that was happening, and we don't have that same problem. We'll just get flooded, and then when it start, not all know what you did. Actually, one time it ended up draining the tank. Uh, the steel shop said that it siphons out once it starts, once it stops, something like that. That's one of the um, major issues I've had with it. But in saying that, I think they've rectified the issue because we haven't had a problem with the second FS240R. In conclusion, this is my favourite river snipper, and I don't see me getting one that's got less power. Uh, maybe for the big jobs that are manicured, you probably want to run a, letter, a smaller, a lighter weight with this never, but as soon as you get up to the thicker sections, you don't slow down, you keep going on the same pace as you were right through it. If I was to give it a rating, I'd say it's a 8 to 9 out of 10. The only way I'd get a 10 out of 10 in a whipper snip up is if it had this much power, but with the lightweight and easy start feature of the FS94.